I was really hoping that you guys enjoy my new series idea, which was um, I play with the tank that destroys me. Yeah, quite a long name, but uh, we are going to tune it today, which, by the way, is one of the many new series ideas, new video ideas that I have for you in 2019. As I said, at the start of the year, this year, uh, 2019, is going to be filled with new and interesting things. So I was really hoping that you guys uh, take it nicely, that you guys like to watch something like this, because I really did enjoy making that episode. Uh, I really did enjoy playing the game that way. But I wasn't expecting such an awesome feedback. So for the start, guys, I have to say thank you for taking your time to watch that episode, to leave a like, close to 3,000 likes. Amazing. And uh, close to 60,000 views in one week. And uh, quickly, guys, before we jump into the action with 277, with the vehicle uh, where we left off, um, let's talk about the title of this series. Uh, should I keep it? Uh, as it is at the moment, um, I play with the tank that destroys me, or should I keep it, I play what destroys me, or what do you think about my new ideas called uh, World of Tanks Gun Game, World of Tanks Gunnon Game, World of Tanks Tank Game, because uh, this um, type or this uh, form, format, actually reminds me uh, the gun game in Call of Duty. If you get one kill with a certain gun, you automatically get a new one. So it is kind of similar, so I thought cannon came, because we have cannons in this game, um, in front of the tanks, um, or gun game, should I keep it as a gun game, or tank game, or should I keep it, I play what destroys me. Please help me out. Or maybe, if you have even better ideas in the comments, please let me know in the comments down below. Please do it. Now, while my previous episode was kind of an introduction episode, pilot episode, if I may, today we are going to jump straight into the action and let's continue where we left off. We were playing with the Afpanzer 100 and we got destroyed by Object 277. So, rule number one, the strongest rule, the main rule was, I am going to play with the tank which destroyed me. Let's go. So, welcome to the Westfield with Object 277. Because I do not have this vehicle myself, I already have IS-4 and IS-7. I really didn't want to buy, I didn't want to waste the credits on yet another Soviet. A Russian heavy tank, um, I have to use um, my community contributor account um, where I can show you object 277 and quickly let's put that shot into the lower plate of the T-75 who was able to put one shot back at me as well, quick snapshot where did he actually, oh lower plate, what? my lower plate was visible, really interesting uh, but uh, let's let's see what we're able to do in this battle. Uh, matchmaking is really ooh, awesome, actually, uh, because uh, tier eight battle. Um, usually, when I'm playing, whenever I am playing with a tier ten vehicle, I would like to see either full tier ten battles or versus tier nines, because more HP on the battlefield, more experience, uh, yada yada yada, better gameplay experience. Uh, but um, when I'm playing this series. I would actually like to move down by tiers as well, move up and down by tiers. So to be able to do that, I actually have to see different tiered vehicles. Uh, by the way, just a quick uh, memory refreshing. Uh, how this uh, series uh, works is um, the main rule is I am going to play in my next battle. I am going to play with the vehicle which destroyed me. If I do not get destroyed. I am going to play with the vehicle that was my final kill, which I destroyed the last. Beautiful, beautiful shot. If I am not destroyed, if I didn't get any kills, then I have to play with the vehicle which damaged me the last. If I do not receive any damage, I have to play with the vehicle which I damaged with my final shot. So those are all the rules, in my opinion. It is pretty damn exciting. Not as um, exciting as bouncing off from Super Conquerors, uh, frontal plate, upper plate. And I think I'm actually going to fight versus that T95, who is snapshotting me like a god. 
Because otherwise this guy would simply shit on us. And uh, full heat as expected. Like, how many shots do I need to take? Finally, Jesus Christ. Ah, okay. I'm simply going to let my teammates destroy him. This guy literally freaking destroyed me. What the fuck? It is, um, yeah, it is impossible to bounce heat, but um, this guy literally destroyed me. But I had to take that position anyway, otherwise uh, all our 50D PV K4502Bs and it 2s would be dead, because uh, it, it is really strong position if not countered up over there on that hill. Hello, Super Conqueror. Nice tracking shot, 552 damage. Hmm... Okay, let's let's see if we can get to kill, even though I wouldn't... Okay, well, that is unlucky. Even though I really wouldn't like to play with the Super Conqueror, I would actually rather jump into Krilla 15. But if I have to pick up the kill, let's do it. Let's do it. Go on, guys. Are you not excited? Are you not as excited as I am to play this series? Like, I never know which tank it's going to be my next tank, and especially in this kind of matchmaking with tier 8s as well. I can always move down by two tiers even. I'm excited. Mm, okay, blind shot by that RT. Not a bad hit. Okay, he's coming back up. And I missed. Kind of stupid, mis kind of stupid mistake by that Emil. And that shot was into the turret, but let's load in AG round. Krilla has been spotted, and boom, 680 damage done. Two hundred eight. I had to hit the gun. But he's coming back up, isn't he? Boom. Maybe a hit. Maybe not. 50 dp is moving in. I think that was a hit actually guys. Nice, good job, good job. Good job you two. I think I'm in good enough position. To see that arty. And to quickly one shot him. Boom. Beautiful. <gasps> oh my god. That means I actually have to... Uh, yeah, you know what that means. Uh, top damage done, not bad. Three kills, 1000 raw experience in tier 8 battle. It is not half bad. Well, I knew it was coming sooner or later. GW Tiger P tier 8 artillery as my next vehicle. So, guys, I'm doing something different. Binocular telescope. Let's use it. I'm going to do some spotting as well. And I do not want to use fire extinguisher. I want to use this 105 octane gasoline for 20,000 credits plus 10% to engine power and turret traverse speed. You guys are going to learn something new every single day. And of course, guys, the best map for any artillery, Ensk. The smallest map, one of the smallest maps in this game. Like, overall. Not bad. Uh, this means this battle is actually going to be kinda fast, kinda quick battle. Uh, hopefully I am able to destroy yet another tier 8 vehicle or maybe a tier 9 vehicle. I would really enjoy to move up and down in tiers. Ooh, SU-130 PM. And um, I am almost done reloading. Is this guy going to start? Stay behind it or not? I feel like he is. So let's. Oh shit, guys! I think that was a direct hit. So at the moment, according to the rules, I have to play with HU 130 BM if I actually damaged it. 
Uh, this side needs my help more. Oh, please crash into each other. And it would be awesome to play with Progetto. And I did hit the fucking house. Sorry. Sorry, I got a bit angry. I got a bit mad. T49. Oh, T49 would be an awesome vehicle to take out next. What do you say about that? Let's see. Boom. At least damage. Nice. So at the moment, T49 is my next vehicle. My next tank that I have to take out. This guy is pulling back. Boom, like that. Badger, 25 team. A tier 10 tank. I have to damage something else. Okay. I have been spotted. Badger is moving in. Come on. Kill. Nice. Badget is missing. Badget is missing. And Badget is reloading now. Badget 12T, I mean. Okay, so I do out that object 704. And I feel like um, all the enemy tanks which are still alive are kinda going to push in. Let's go for this guy. Oh, like that. Come on. Damage. Nice. But... My next vehicle is still... Oh, shit, he's over here, he's over here. No, 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 no. Ooh, nice. Baited, 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 baited. Well, this is all I was able to do on Ensk with GW Tiger P. And yes, a hit it was indeed. 539 damage. But, guys, you know the rules? If we do not get destroyed, my next vehicle has to be my final kill, which is Object 704, and I could not be happier. I couldn't be happier because I really do not remember when I previously played with 704. Once again, I do not have this tank myself yet. I am still at ISU 152 because I have just so many other stuff to do, uh, tanks to grind. I am simply not able to work on those oldies, on those uh, legendary tanks. Tanks. Uh, that 704 most definitely is one of the oldest tanks in this game, a tier 9 tank destroyer, so let's equip it up real quickly. And we are ready. Our sexy looking 704 is ready to go into the action. And kinda weird, yet another vehicle which I do not have. <laughs> oh yes, this matchmaking I dig, no artillery. And we are at the very top. Our previous matchmaking was bottom tier matchmaking, so we faced the tier 10s, now I can take one 357 top tier battle, because in this series it means I can actually move down to tier 7. Hopefully I get like 10 kills, but my final kill is going to be one of those tier 7 tanks. Maybe SU-152 would be awesome, I haven't played with that guy for quite some time. So, at first, of course, let's try to do some sniperino. <laughs> oh, that's hot! That's hot! EBR Hotchkiss, say goodbye to your sweet, sweet, tasty life. So, feels like I simply have to be aggressive. Yeah, feels like I simply have to be more aggressive. There is our light tank. T30. No artillery, which makes uh, this position a lot more playable. And I think I should have an angle on those guys. They should not expect me. Come under angle like this. T30 is coming. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't block him. Ooh. Ah, yes! Nice, yet another tier 7 tank. Marked as my next vehicle. T30 is picking up our tanks as well. Not, not appreciated. What are you doing? 50 DP is backing up all the way. Oh, yeah. Yes, please! What a sexy position that was, repositioning. This tank has such a nice TPM. T30 might be peeking. 
Oh, this is too, too nasty of a position for the enemy T-30. Ferdinand, I was so lucky. Quickly, let's repair our tracks. And T-30 has been destroyed. Uh, TS-5, VK... We have some base defenders, some base defense, but not enough. And no, tier 9 tanks are still alive. So my final kill was IS. At the moment, the vehicle I have to play with is IS. Uh, but looking at the matchmaking, whatever kills me or whatever I kill moves me down by at least one tier, which makes me happy. Leo, not eager to do any crazy repositioning okay boom centurion one tier eight progetto 46 comet charioteer leo okay leo might be moving in now yeah moving from bush to bush but now, after I know where the charioteer is, I still want to move in. Hopefully it works out. I'm still at full HP, so I can do some spotting. Oh, Ferdinand. Hello, Ferdinand. Boom. We traded bounces. I'm actually going to stay over here. For as long as needed. I'm still reloading. Okay, Ferdy. That shot was a hit. And I think that shot was a penetration as well. Because they didn't see any splashes into the house. This guy's simply tracking me. Nothing too... Nothing too crazy. Okay, let's move now. Yeah. Like, I'm out in the open. This guy is hiding. He's able to kill me, actually. Beautiful bouncing. And goodbye to you. Comet. Comet is actually a nice tank to play with. So, Comet, ladies and gents, is my next tank. But one blind shot into the Ferdinand should put us close to 4k damage done. Oh, yet another 4000 damage done. Not bad. So, Ferdinand, where are you? Uh, 793 damage done. Yes, steel wall because of that comment at the end, because I decided to ignore him. Uh, high caliber and um, top damage, top kills, second by experience. In tier 7 battle, this is not bad, guys. So, this was 704 and my final tank in today's episode. My final battle in today's episode. I really do hope you enjoyed it once again as much as my previous episode. If you did, thumbs up button is for that. Thumbs down button is for if you didn't enjoy. But I did, I have to say, this um, series is one of my favorite series already. Because you never know what ends up being. You never know which tank is going to be my next vehicle. It is exciting. It is awesome. And um, in my next episode, I start from where we left today. I have to play with Comet in my next episode as my first tank. So we are moving town in tiers, actually. We started uh, from tier 10, then tier 8, then tier 9, and my next vehicle, tier 7. This is what I like about it. I get you next time with something else. Stay awesome. As always, take care and bye.